Sorry, sweetie. It's stuck. Can't go any lower than that. Is that right? Yep. There's actually a funny story about that. But... I forgot what it was. Every problem in this park has a story. And there's a lot of stories. The park makes do with what it has, Eve. We're resourceful that way. been resolved. Over. Ten four. Fill me in on the details. Uh, the reports end up being at ten fifty six. White male, early fifties. He was stumbling around when I got there. He stopped discharging his firearm as soon as he saw me pull up. It looked like he was shooting at some bottles. No altercation, but he didn't need to take a breathalyzer for me to know he was wasted. He's in custody now. It's only paperwork. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Ernie. I'll be pretty late, so you can have the yogurt in the fridge while filling out the report. <laughs> Wait, he's still with the porcupine? Tell them, girl, we already miss her moves. Hope those two lumine campers have a good dental. Shut your mouth, Hernandez, or else it's gonna be your fat ass who needs the extra dental work. Just have that report on my desk by tomorrow. Over. Jeez. You know they're just trying to get a rise out of you. Why do you always take the bait? Because if they actually cared about their jobs, they'd be angry too. Not that it matters. It's not everyone, Eve. There are people out there who still care. Who? The campers? Because I can show you some rocks and trees that a certain artist thought made a good canvas. That kind of stuff doesn't get fixed overnight. Neither did his fractured jaw, or your suspension. to you. You used to be such a cute cadet. What? I'm not still cute? It's that attitude of yours. I remember when you were energetic and determined. 
be like that again. They beat that out of me a while ago. Then let's see if we can cram some of that back in. By a transfer? By a change of pace. You'll love the meadows. It's a little chilly this time of year, but you can bundle up in the cabin. Which you'll have all to yourself, by the way. You can thank Ranger Smith's should have it for that. And the camping population? Don't think you're clever. We used to visit Tulumne every summer when I was a kid. I know they have a campground there. It's mostly hikers and mountain climbers right now, since the roads just opened. But I'm sure they'll come piling in as it warms up. I expect you to do your job. Great. More babysitting. Remember what you signed up for. Trust me, I do. Or I did before I realized the park was just the public's dumping ground. That's why the National Park Service exists. We can't protect every square inch of land, but we can manage parts of it. If only. For most of these people, the parks are just toll roads. They pay to get drunk for a few days. They'll sit around the campfire and talk about how much they connect with nature, and maybe even write poetry about it. And then they'll leave the fire smoldering, forget to pick up their trash, and leave. Well, that's why we're... That's why we're here, right? That's our job. Enforcing the law to protect the land. But who are we protecting it for? The same people who are destroying it. Where's the justice in a job like that? We're here. Not too small for you, is it? Nah, it's perfect. There's another station nearby, but they mostly oversee boring bureaucratic stuff. They'll leave you alone, but you might have to hand out permits if they're ever out for lunch or something. Discretion? Not a chance, sweetie. Knowing you, you tell them to jump in the lake before ever letting them fish in it.
not as dusty as I thought it'd be. Maybe Ranger Smith liked chugging Windex, too. Not unless he snuck back recently. So jumpy. It's just the cabin settling. This place is old, so it's gonna be a little noisy. Kind of spooky, huh? Rangers stationed here always said it was haunted. Personally, I think it was just something in the coffee. Our tax dollars that work. Just be happy we're not privatized yet. Make sure to recycle this later. Question, when was the last time you were at the range? To shoot? God, I don't know. About a year ago, I guess, when you dragged us all down there on our day off to practice. Off day for you guys, maybe. I'd kill to just have one weekend off. Uh, I didn't mean like... You know I won't actually. <laughs> anyway... What we have here is your standard issue pump action Remington 870. Also known as a shotgun. Fancy. 
This actually doesn't look like it'll fall apart in my hands. Cal and the DOI to have their priorities straight. <laughs> when have I ever turned down new equipment? Still, this is a bit excessive. I don't need this much heat for grunt work. Eh, it's just a precaution. Hopefully you never have to use it. It's not like everyone is asking you to carry it around on patrol, which I expect you to do every day. Can I do that before sunrise? So I don't have to talk to anyone? Ever? Absolutely not! I will not allow you to be a weird forest hermit under my watch. You need to have some positive experiences, okay? away I'm scolding Shh. from that. Stay away then. Don't give me that look. <sighs> Orphaned Coyote Pup started coming around the camp and Smith, in his infinite wisdom, decided to feed it. Don't! I didn't say anything! But you thought it. And if you have any sense, you'll... <sighs> I'll lecture you another day. But for now, I have to get back to the station. Before Hernandez eats all the yogurt. Yeah, because that's for me. Oh, 
What's wrong? I thought you loved dirty jokes. It's nothing. I'm fine. You're going to do fine, sweetie. Yeah, until I bust open the next guy. Hey, don't think like that. I didn't vouch for you because I thought you'd make the same mistake twice. You're a good ranger, Eve. If more of us were like you and cared more about what's around us and less about our pensions, then the Force would be better off. This will be good for you. If you can straighten yourself out here, then you can do anything. So try to have some fun, okay? Okay. Besides, I'm just a radio call away if you ever miss me. I'll call every day to check in. Yay. Can't wait. Now slacking off now. And Eve, you're wrong.
Oh, hey, are you on break too? Want to hang? Do you know how many people go missing out here? Well, what? I said, do you know how many people disappear in these parts annually? I, I'm sorry, I don't... Another question. Y yes ma'am! Do you know how much paperwork I have to do if one of you has so much steps on a pine cone? Is it... a lot? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a lot, right? Let's just say it's more work than you've probably turned in this entire semester. Do me a favor and stumble back to camp, okay? I'd rather not have to explain to my supervisor how you all fell off a cliff. One, you heard me. You can bum around all you want once the sun comes up. Sure thing. Sorry for the trouble. Uh, have a good night. I won't, but thanks. <laughs>